Hi everybody and welcome to today's bird cage tour. We're going to take a look at this really great value cage. It's a great value for the price and it comes in two different versions. One with a play top which we're going to go through today and then one with a dome top. One thing I really like about this cage is it has some nice architectural features and if you're somebody like I am who watches a lot of HGTV and likes to decorate their house, this is a nice option. It has the curved legs on the bottom and some ironwork on the top, so it looks like a nice standalone piece of furniture in your room. When you're looking for a birdcage, one of the first things you want to consider is the width of the bars apart from each other. You want to make sure that you get a cage that has bars narrow enough so that your bird can't get her head through and get stuck or get her whole body through and escape. This cage has a bar width of two-thirds of an inch, which makes it really nice for budgies and parakeets. It also has a fairly heavy gauge, bar gauge, of two and a half millimeters, so you could also go up to the size of a cockatiel type breed. The cage is made out of wrought iron with a non-toxic powder coated paint finish and the paint has been certified by an avian veterinarian to be bird safe. So one thing to keep in mind uh, is do not buy your cages from either a home store or a hobby shop. Oftentimes the materials they use are not bird safe and so if your bird picks at the cage uh, you could end up with a sick bird. Let's take a look at the door. It has a bird proof spring loaded lock Nice big door, swings open wide to give you full access into your cage. The cage also has two swing out doors for food and water. The swing out doors are really nice if you have someone else caring for your bird, a pet sitter or a member of your family who isn't as comfortable with your bird as you are, they can access the food and doors without actually getting inside of the cage. The bowls are stainless steel, which not only are the most durable, material to have for feeder bowls, but they're shiny. And as we know, birds are attracted to shiny things. So one tip is if you want to introduce a new food into your bird's diet, put it in one of these shiny cups, put their regular food in a bowl in the bottom of the cage, and they will be more likely to try the new food because they're attracted to the shiny cup. You'll also notice that the bowls are a few inches apart. So if you have a bird that likes to soak her food before she eats it, which can get really messy for you to clean up, at least she has to pick it up and carry it a few inches. She can't just knock it from her food bowl to her water bowl. Let's take a look at the play top. This play top comes with a perch that's specifically sized to keep it open. It also comes with a toy hook. Very easy to put up and put down and then the hook secures the top closed. Another great feature of this is, has a very easy to remove grate and super easy to clean tray, so that's less maintenance for you. And you may have noticed my favorite feature of uh, this cage, I've been moving it around, and it has four industrial strength screw-in casters. What's nice about those, if you've ever had a cage that had the pop-in casters, they can easily pop out. But these casters, because they screw in, really stay stable as you're moving the cage around to clean it or from room to room. I think we've covered most of the really great features of this bird cage. If you have any questions about this cage or any of our cages, please feel free to connect with us on Facebook or email us. We look forward to hearing from you.